멈출 수 없었던 악마의 삶을 멈춰 주셔서 정말 감사합니다. This man was the mastermind behind an abusive porn sharing chat room on Messenger of Telegram. The Anthrum sexual abuse scandal, the latest in a series of digital sex crime cases over the years, has left the entire nation in shock. In a number of chat rooms, the victims, including underage girls, were allegedly forced to perform gruesome torture sex acts, such as carving the word slave into their skin. It all started with the Hub channel on Telegram, where users shared links to illegal gambling and porn sites. Then one user decided to create a new platform for more explicit content. And this was the start of the Anthrum. Later on, various versions of the Anthrum were created. Different rooms were dedicated to specific categories, including pedophilia and incest. These led to the creation of the most notorious one, the Paksa Room, run by 25-year-old college student Cho Jubin, who called himself Paksa, a Korean word for doctor. Cho's Paksa Room is not some ordinary porn sharing chat room. It involves real victims, heinous sex crimes, and a meticulously operated sex abuse cartel. But who are these girls? They were lured through high-paying job posts. Once Cho obtained their personal information and photos of their bodies, he threatened to expose their identity online and send their naked pictures to their families and friends. According to witnesses and civil groups, victims were told to write words like slave or doctor on their naked bodies. A journalist, one of the first to expose what was happening in the chat room, disclosed shocking testimonies that pictures of women's genitals filled with live insects were being shared in the rooms. 75 victims have been reported so far, including 16 underage girls. The chat rooms were largely divided into three levels of obscenity with different admission prices, all paid through cryptocurrency. And this was not a one man's job. This barbaric sex abuse ring was operated by Cho and his accomplices who ran at least 38 different rooms. They all had specific roles, money laundering, identity theft, uploading and promoting material, and in some cases, selected as rapists or so-called VIPs. The money launderers cashed out the cryptocurrency which was delivered to Cho, the identity thieves collected the victim's information, promoters brought in clients and marketed content. The VIPs who were discreetly picked by Cho were part of the most expensive chat room. They were given access to victims and raped them on camera. The footage then would be shared with the group. Cho has been indicted on over 14 charges including coercion, sexual abuse, and violation of Child Protection Act. 14 of Cho's accomplices and 40 chat room users have been caught so far. As the investigation into the sex crimes has broadened, the sense of guilt appears to be haunting some members of the illicit group. Earlier this month, a 40-year-old man killed himself by jumping off a bridge. A note was found that said, I felt guilty and worried about my admission to the Paksa room. I had no idea this would spiral out of control. Last month, a 28-year-old man went to the police station in Yeosu to turn himself in after he tried to poison himself. People are continuously calling for harsher punishments for the perpetrators, as one of the anthem operators known as Kelly was sentenced earlier to only a year in prison for distributing child pornography. News reports and attempts to guess the victims' identities are also becoming an issue. Lists of suspected victims were disclosed online, and some news outlets reported celebrities were among them. The prosecutor's office offered its full support for victims by helping them to get new social security numbers, change names, and delete their videos online. In highly wired South Korea, digital sex crimes continue to take place on various platforms. And if perpetrators continue to receive light punishments, history will repeat itself. As this latest horrifying sex crime scandal unfolds, we can only hope the outcomes will set an example that will put an end to sexual abuse against women.